We're James and Michelle, and we have spent the last two years building our dream rammed earth geothermal greenhouse. If you're new here, stick around because the best is yet to come. So welcome back. It's been a minute since we've done any kind of video or progress update on our geothermal round earth all year round greenhouse. Uh, we have been working pretty steady on it for the last three and a half weeks. So if you're new here, just a little bit of background on what it is we're actually building. So this is a 1300 square foot round earth deep winter designed all year round greenhouse. Uh, the geothermal aspect of it is a climate battery, so we could show you a little bit of what we've done so far for provisions of putting in the climate battery. And then what we are going to do as well is going to be coming up in a later video to get that system up and running. And we're going to take you around and just show you the progress of what we've completed outside first, and then we'll pop back inside and go over some of the bits and bobs that we put in inside. As you can see, it's insulated, but we'll we'll get to that once we come back inside. Okay, so as you can see behind us, we've got all our roofing completed and we've trimmed out the polycarbonate around the perimeter, which when we initially installed the polycarbonate, we were a little hesitant at how it looked and it's really grown on us. Uh, the lighting that we get inside, the diffusion with the polycarbonate is, is quite interesting. It's quite a bit cooler with the direct sun. So if I'm standing in the direct sun now and I go inside, it's the light is dispersed so well that it's actually cooler and really evenly distributed. If you look up at the polycarbonate though, it is kind of blinding depending on where the sun is. Uh, the other bits that we've got done out here, so we're just gonna walk, walk a little bit forward. We do have all the, we do have all of the windows all trimmed out and ready for uh, the glass. So I've measured it all, ordered all the glass and we are gonna be doing a grid within the windows as well. More for aesthetics, not for any kind of function. We just kind of want to have that Brooklyn look to it. All the wood has been uh, treated with the Shosugibon method. You can see it's all burnt, um, which is going to protect it from UV moisture bugs. I think that's all it needs to be protected from. UV is a big one, uh, especially being on the south face. It also looks nice. Yeah. So the last bit I have to complete out here is I'm going to walk up here. You can stay there but we need to close off between the polycarbonate and the beam. So I have to mail up more pieces for that. Other than that, between the glass and the overhead door, which we'll get around to, we also have this other door. So we will hopefully be sealed up from outside within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we also didn't have any of our fascia on previously. So we got all the fascia with uh, Live Edge put in place. Hey, kitty. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, the south side we did with just a single two by 12, which is all in one piece, which is really cool. And unfortunately, because we were taking a break from YouTube, we didn't do any filming um, of any of these bits, which in all honesty, was kind of nice to take that break and just focus on the project. On the back roof, we'll walk around there. Actually, before we walk around there, this wall is kind of our, our west facing wall. And it's gonna be the main entry point to the greenhouse. There'll be a set of double, double garden doors in this section. And then this picture window is up above and another picture window over here. So none of the windows are gonna be opening. Uh, we do have provisions made for ventilation for exha exhausting the hot air in the summer. And we do have some concerns about the humidity in the winter, but we're making provisions for that as well. But this wall from inside and out is 
quite pleasing. And we do have our electrical uh, for our exterior pot lights up there. And then where you see the white Tyvek, we're going to be doing a Chosugibon live edge horizontal side. Is that it? Okay, so now we're on the north side ish. What do we be? Uh, northwest. So um, we have fascia on this side as well, that has also been treated with the Chosugibon. But here we did a stepped fascia similar to the sauna, which is behind the lovely film Lady Michelle. Really like the look of that. And it's also just because of the depth of that roof, it helps us achieve that depth. And then we, for the roofing, what we did was a, it's called a snap lock roofing. So there's zero fasteners exposed, which, which is very helpful with all of the pine needles and stuff that we get that drop out here. So nothing sticks to the roof. We'll get a better shot of that if we go around the back of it. But then we're gonna work our way over to the east side and show you what it looks like from over there. You gotta go up here and that can drone all sorts of bits. Choop cha. Come out. So we found an overhead door a couple of years ago, actually, and we've stored it. Uh, we were going to use it somewhere else, but it's going to fit perfectly for this project. Michelle was busy sanding it. It's a natural cedar door, which is quite nice, actually. A little bit of glass in it. So while we're on the overhead door, we're just going to turn around here and just show you kind of where it's going up here. So if you back up a little, I'm going to climb up. Actually, I'm just going to grab a seat. Charlotte. Yeah. So the overhead door is actually going to, we're going to have it, rather than have it come back this way, we're going to have it go up a little bit higher to the, uh, about a foot down from the six by 12 beams, and then it's going to come back. We're going to do that for a couple of reasons. So we still get maximum light coming in. And then we're thinking of potentially adding uh, catwalk eventually that'll go along this beam which would run the length of the greenhouse we might do that at a later date but if we do if we put the overhead door in traditionally it'll be in the way okay so i've also completed a whole bunch of electrical um but in order to show you that i think i need to get michelle to go up on this scaffold are you ready to do that uh, sure yeah so we'll get you up there because it's going to be easier to see some of the stuff I've done. So let's do that. You're going to have to speed this up on the editing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can grab onto the wood and then you can step on. Getting down is the scarier part. You're going to climb right in there or are you going to step on the scaffold? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Well, the scaffold's right there. Are you ready? Oh, you're in here. We're both on it. It's like being in a tree fort. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, yeah. camera. It's like so being in a tree fort. We're on top of the two by six decking, which is on the north side of the greenhouse. We're going to be insulating. We're basically in the back roof that we just showed you. Yeah. So it's kind of like an attic space, but yeah. we're going to be uh, insulating this portion. And then you can kind of see we've already insulated all the walls. There's electrical within those walls for the plugs that were um, precast into the round earth, which we'll show you a close up of that as well because it looks looks very clean. And then we're going to climb. Let's climb over here. Uh, you can kind of see. You can see a bunch of the holes and stuff for our pot lights in this section of the roof. So plugging away at that as well. Um, Literally plugging away. <laughs> it was no pun. Mm. Uh, let's just go over here because I want to show what I did for provisions for the panel. 
Okay. Crawling it on the chest. Okay. Watch your head, eh? You've been doing a lot of crawling. Oh yeah. You guys come over here. I know. It's very uh, slanty. Huh? It's very <laughs> slanty. It's only a three twelve roof. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You got to go like and sit here. Okay, so when we did the rammed earth, uh, in order to precast in and get our electrical where we wanted it, there's conduit cast into the rammed earth so that you can see little bits of conduit down here with all the wire going to the proper places where it needs to go. So this is just a PVC conduit, Schedule 40, I believe. Um, so the pre-planning of that. So this is where everything's going into the panel that is also cast into the rammed earth. Uh, I gave myself six different pipes just to have extra. Better to have more than not enough. But there's that. And then we're going to hop over to the south side and I want to show you the cool thing that we added after where and where we're at with that. I don't think there's anything. Oh, wait, while well, I'm here. So below me here is where we have our manifold for the climate battery. So I've also picked up a bunch of spiral ductwork. And that's going to come up through this section of roof along this uh, slope of this ceiling. And then you're going to have to turn the camera over here, babe. So then we're going to come along this beam with the spiral ducting. And it's going to have to actually jump up through where I've got it insulated. There's going to be six different um, plenums, essentially, that are going to be pulling the hotter down from the hot side of the greenhouse, which we can show you from the other side. Okay, so if you look here, you can see there's a, an aluminum, aluminum channel that I've put in place. Uh, if you were watching back when we did the uh, prepping of the beams, we routed in this groove and that's for this anodized channel. And there's going to be a uh, waterproof tape light, LED tape light. That's going to be in every one of the beams that goes all the way across the greenhouse, 20 feet long in the, from the high to the low. Now, I don't believe this is really going to help much with growing, but I did order a full spectrum 24 volt light. And I think I'm not an electrician, so I'm kind of winging a lot of this stuff. I think it's going to look really cool when it's lit up in the winter from outside, but it's also going to give us light in here and maybe it will be enough to help promote plant growth in the winter. If not, we can, I'm going to be putting some other electrical in and we can add some lights, but we're probably not going to do that until we know if this works or not. So it's a little bit of trial and error. Um, and then there's, if you back up or just poke up here, so these pink, these pink wires run up to every beam and they are going to a central area where there'll be a driver and to convert from low volt to line voltage. You sure sound like an electrician. Do I? Yeah. Whoa! A little shaky. That's on wheels in there. Sort of safe. Okay. Uh, give you an idea of how high it is. I could just measure it again. I think it's 22 some 22 feet right now. Yeah. Or what? 12. Yeah, like 11 feet, 12 feet. Let's see if it will stay for me. Yeah, it's 21, 21.6 to the high point. So I've been doing a lot of climbing up and down to get all the insulation in, all the electrical in. Uh, you can see, if you back up a little bit towards Bob, babe. So you can see there's a opening here, which is tied back over, but that's one of four locations for exhaust fans. And then I've got a receptacle above it. And then you can see the pink wires again. 
coming out uh, at every LED beam location. But quite a bit of wiring was done at the highest point to get all that to where it needed to be, which was slow for me. Uh, a lot of climbing up and down. And then of course the insulation. So I'm only insulating to this point because that roof is here. And then I'm actually gonna poly both sides of this wall. So I need to protect the beam as well from humidity inside. So that's kind of the next step as we're gonna do in the poly. Uh, we have ordered the glass. Let me hop down. So yeah, we have ordered the glass and we have our overhead door, the garden door, our ductwork for the climate battery, and all of our electrical components have been ordered as well. So everything's gonna come together. I know I told Michelle she could grow in here in May. So far off, it wasn't even funny. Um, there's a lot of work still to do. Uh, and thankfully I've had enough time for the last three and a half weeks to be working pretty much full time on the greenhouse and not away from the property. So we're back down below where we were above in the little attic spot, but uh, I've got the wires ran through the conduit, which was precast into the uh, rammed earth. Uh, and then it's pretty easy to just feed your wire through. And then this one has a plug going through, and then we're gonna move over to this side. And this is where I put the main panel, which is gonna essentially have the breaker box for everything within the greenhouse. And in addition to this, we're hardwiring the sauna because we've been running a little bit of solar and extension cords, which aren't that nice to look at. We can show you what else. I think that's about it today. So thanks for watching uh, the progress update on our greenhouse. And if you want to see how we come along, we're going to be coming out with a video again in a few weeks, probably after our glass is installed, cladding's up ideally. And Michelle's getting very excited to start growing in here. She's actually already started reseeding and doing a whole bunch of stuff, starting stuff from seeds. So she's very excited and I'm actually pretty excited too. It's nice to see some progress uh, on a project on our property. Thanks for watching.